Here, on the alluring coastline of Northern California, there are majestic giants that tower over the mist. Standing at nearly 300 feet tall, these coastal redwoods provide a home to 200 different species of plants and over 60 species of animals. This makes redwood forests a key part of California's ecosystem. Through the past century, a blanket of fear has been slowly descending on California's redwood forests. The combined effects of climate change, raging wildfires, overlogging, and land conversion are making a lasting difference. The redwood forests are now an endangered species. Although the ancient redwood forests of California may seem like they are on the brink of destruction, there is an organization determined to put an end to these threats and save California's redwood forests. Nineteen seventeen was the year that John Merriam, Madison Grant, and Fairfield Osborne took a road trip down to the tallest trees on planet Earth to inspect their status. The three men were amazed by the redwoods beauty, yet horrified by their accelerating rate of destruction. They then made a commitment to preserve California's coastal redwood forests. They came together in 1918 with others who shared their goal, and Save the Redwoods League was born. Their mission was to purchase redwood forests and the land surrounding them to turn these areas into national preserves. And they did just that. Over the next few years, they purchased multiple ancient groves and established national parks around them to ensure their safety. The Three Men's Dream was a huge success. Over the next decade, the League was a leader in forming many of California's state parks. But their work didn't stop there. All the way up until present day, the League continued acquiring land, collaborating with many local and federal agencies to continue preserving California's redwood forests. During its first 100 years, Save the Redwood League protected over 200,000 acres of land and helped establish over 66 national parks. Saving the redwoods in the 21st century is much different than 100 years ago. Problems such as logging, which were the main threat to the forests a century ago, are not nearly as big of an issue now. At the moment, things such as climate change and land conversion are the latest notable threats. To try to combat these problems, the League is currently studying the effects of climate change on California's redwood forests. They do not yet know the impact that Earth's climate change will have on the size, strength, and survival of California's redwoods. Nevertheless, Save the Redwood League won't stop working their hardest to keep the tallest trees on planet Earth thriving. The League couldn't have done it alone. There are many other groups of activists who help protect our planet and keep it in a way where we can all enjoy it. Every person can do their part in saving the redwoods and the world.